This is George. He's been neglecting his body for years. He's eaten unhealthy foods and hasn't exercised regularly. Part of the problem is that he enjoys eating foods high in cholesterol. Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance found in animal products. After George eats, the cholesterol in the food eventually enters his cardiovascular, or circulatory system. The circulatory system is a complex network that transports blood through our bodies. It is made up of the heart, blood, and a system of channels called blood vessels. Blood flows through these blood vessels, delivering oxygen and the nutrients our cells need to function. But our friend George, like many other people, has been eating a diet with too much fat in it. Fat is one of the main causes of problems in the cardiovascular system. As excess fat and cholesterol float through George's system, they cling to the walls of his blood vessels and form a sticky lining. Over time, these sticky buildups have limited the amount of blood and oxygen that can flow through his blood vessels and reduce the nutrients his cells get to absorb. So, after getting his doctor's approval, George has decided to get in better shape. But it might be harder than he thinks. Years of neglect have made his circulatory system less efficient than it could be. After warming up, George hits the treadmill. This is one of George's leg muscles. His bad diet and lack of exercise have made the blood vessels leading to and from his muscles narrow and weak. As he exercises, his muscles require increased amounts of oxygen and fuel, and waste products made by his working muscles begin to build up. But George's inefficient circulatory system isn't able to meet his body's demands. He is overwhelmed. He thinks his trip to the gym was a flop, but something is beginning to change inside George's body. With repeated exercise, new blood vessels will develop in George's muscles, increasing the supply of blood and fuel he can use. As George continues exercising and eating sensibly, he begins to notice the difference. More oxygen and nutrients are circulating through his system, making their way to his cells. His stores of fat are shrinking, and his muscles are becoming more efficient. Thanks to exercise and a healthful diet, George has gotten into better shape. And so has his circulatory system. What is one negative effect of eating a diet high in fat? 